Hello everyone, this is the Master Seder, and I'm here talking about my latest mod, my latest plugin for Bucket. This was originally part of my MindZ clone, but I decided that it's actually a pretty cool feature, so I uh, removed it out, and it's its own um, plugin for thing. It's called Random Chests, uh, and the way it works is... When you have chests, you can set up stuff. And I don't have it running right now, so I can show you what's in these chests. This is just a sta static chest. It has the word no written in it. And this one has just some garbage in it. And these two are configured to be randomized when the plugin is running. So when the plugin is running, if... I should talk about the key first. Uh, let's get rid of all this garbage so that I can have a clean inventory before I start talking. The way it works is there is a key in the config file that you specify which tells the plugin whether the chest has static contents. This one will always say no in, in stuff. This one will always have this contents, but these two will have random contents. And let's look at this one. This is just a single chest. Uh, this is a randomized chest, and the way it's configured right now is it will always return three items. The reason is is because there's three keys in the third place. Um, chests are zero. They start with zero, so this is slot zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to 26. Same with the bigger chests. This starts at zero, and this goes all the way to some other ludicrous number, 50, 55, I think. But um, the way that the plugin decides how many items from this from the rest of the items in the chest is by the location of the key. It takes the location of the key, and it chooses a number between the location of the key and the number of keys there are there, and that's how it chooses how many items to spawn. So since there's three keys in the third, third slot this chest will always spawn three items um, this chest there are five keys in the second item so it will always spawn at least two items and it can spawn up to five items that makes sense because it it'll spawn at least two because it's in zero one two and it will spawn at most five so um, you can change this if I move this over to zero, it will spawn either nothing or up to five. And if I move this over from zero, one, two, three, four, five, if I drop it in five, it will always choose five items from this chest to spawn. This chest is static because it doesn't have the key, so it will always show these contents. It will always show those. And this, te this chest, because it has no contents, um, will always spawn those items and I will show that in just a minute all right so I've copied the plugin into the plugins folder and let's go ahead and run reload and that just loaded let me verify that did that just loaded the plugin so now these these chests they're considered part of the map and they will be their contents will be stored in memory now it works the same way, if you've ever played Mind Z, it works the same way. If you r open a chest, the chest will despawn within 30 seconds, and it'll drop all of its contents. And then it will respawn itself automatically within three minutes, as long as nobody's close by. There's a scheduler running. So let's first open this chest. You'll see that it's just the contents, and there's actually a couple Oh, I don't need to. It just it just despawned the chest. So I can pick up these items because it dropped them all. And it, there were 20 pieces of coal and 24 torches. And that chest will sit there, and it, within three minutes it will respawn. Now, if you're an OP, there are some commands. You can do slash RC for random chests and respawn. And if you try to respawn a chest and you're standing too close to it, it'll tell you that you, nearby chests cannot respawn. Um, by in the config file by default it's 10 blocks but that's configurable so let me go 10 blocks away and rerun that command and there's the chest again and if we go look at it it's got the exact same contents okay so 
Uh, and now that one will despawn. There's also a despawn. So if you go in here and type despawn, that'll automatically despawn chest chest items, chests that have been opened. Um, so those are the two admin commands that are there, respawn and despawn. Uh, one thing to note, by default, if you try to use a command and you're not an OP, um, an operator, a server admin, it'll damage you five points it, it ha because there should be a punishment for trying to use admin commands. So let's try to respawn. I'm standing too close. All right. I'm still too close. All right, back away. There, now it's back. Same thing goes for this chest. It will always spawn these items. Now, these were the random chests we showed earlier. This one will always spawn three items. Right now, before clicking it, it has everything in it. It looks identical to the way it did when we opened it before we enabled the plugin. But it, well, right when we click it, it goes through and it does the math. It tries to uh, to calculate how many items. It's despawn. Go ahead and take all that. Um, it tries to calculate all the, the things. Now we set this one up to always respawn three. So when I right click, there will always be three items. And it will it, it chose three cactuses. So let's go ahead and get rid of those. This one, I believe we left on always five items. So when I open it, there will always be five items in there. Now let's go ahead and despawn it and grab all the stuff. And now let's back away so that all the items can respawn. Now that everything's back, this will spawn three new items out of the list, and this will spawn five new items out of its list. So, uh, it's very, very easy to set up. You can specify in the config file which key you want to use. By default, it's item number 131, which is a trip, the tripwire hook, um, but that's configurable. The amount of damage or whether it even damages you if you use an admin command and you're not an admin is configurable and how close you are standing uh, to block respawning of chests is configurable. And uh, it's cool. So uh, if you wanna go to, there's the link in the description below to where the plugin should be. I'm still waiting for the bucket admins to approve it, but as soon as it's approved, the link will work. And this is my random chests plugin for bucket. And uh, if you're also hanging out f to check out the Mind Z clone, a new version of that will come out tomorrow. And uh, we'll check it out. Thanks for watching. This is Master Sater signing off. And uh, go have fun. Cheers. All right. One thing I forgot to mention at the end of the video is these chests function the same way that uh, the Mind Z chests function. If you right click, they open and then they despawn, and it's great. However, if you walk up, if you want to get the stuff out of there quicker, you walk up and you just attack it, hit it, it'll pop everything off as well. Um, it does that and it does the calculations and everything when you hit it. And that both drops the items and uh, gets it ready for respawning. So we can put those chests back. So uh, you don't have to open them, you can hit it. If you just hit it once, it'll drop everything and uh, it, it functions the same way that the Mind Z chests function. Uh, except that I think mine are easier to configure. I don't know how they do theirs. Anyways, again, Master Crusader signing off. Thanks for watching.